Hi everyone, so finally I think I managed to work out what's happening with um, uploading videos. I uploaded part one, part two just would not upload. So a bit delayed, so sorry about that. This is part two, um, which is kind of a quick flip through of the cards in the Colette Baron Reed Spirit Animal Oracle. Um, so I will start straight away because I don't want to waffle on for too long and make this video too long. Just because we're having trouble with the uploadings at the moment. So, the first card we have is the Ant Spirit. There we go. And Antelope Spirit. Hopefully you can see these okay. I'll try and keep holding them up so that I can show you them it's antelope beautiful and then we've got actually I'll, what i'll do is i'll just leave them there and then i'll move them aside once i've spoken about them we've got armadillo spirit really cute i do like an armadillo that's armadillo and then we've got beautiful badger i love the badgers the bat spirit so, as I was saying, I'm not sure if I said this previously, but the cards come with the number and the animal and the name for the animal. And then there's a little message there. So, for beaver, we've got lay a solid foundation. So there's beaver. There's the bee. There's the bobcat, beautiful, beautiful bobcat. I just think the illustrations on these are lovely because there's lots of little detail in here. Like in the fur, there's lots of little extra things going on, little sparkly bits. Beautiful, lovely, lovely cards. So then we've got the bear, brown bear, buffalo, the butterfly, the bird, canary spirit um there's a lot of i've i said this in previous but i'm not sure where what whether i've seen it. i said it in the previous ones that haven't uploaded so i'm going to say it again i'm sorry if i'm boring you um lots of little little um crowns in these car in these cards not in all of them but just in some um so yeah i'm going to try and have a look and see in the book now that i'm kind of getting this sussed out i might be able to actually find out what those crowns are all about and then we've got the beautiful cat spirit. And the chameleon. And the cow. Coyote. The crow. Let's just have a little bit of my tea. There we go. And we've got deer, dog, dolphin, beautiful cards these are. Sorry, I don't know if you actually saw the dolphin, I think my hand might have been in the way. There we go, it's the dolphin. I've got dove, dragonfly, eagle electric eel there's lots of unusual animals in this deck elephant beautiful elephant and the fox and the flamingo um yeah quite unusual animals in this it's froggy and the giraffe grasshopper Groundhog spirit, the hawk, beautiful horse. I think this is one of my favourite cards in this deck. It is just beautiful, really beautiful horse. Let me show you a little bit closer up so you can see him properly. He is just beautiful. That's the horse, the hummingbird, koala. Koi fish, the lion, the lizard, 
the moth. The mouse. The nightingale. So again, we've got the crowns starting to turn up. And the otter, beautiful otter. And the beautiful owl. And the lovely panther. Let me show you that a little bit closer up because it's a really beautiful card. It's just you can't get the light right on it. It's beautiful. And the lovely parrot. Beautiful peacock. These are stunning cards, I've got to say. They are absolutely beautiful, these cards. Um, if you like your animals, this really could be the deck for you. So, you know, you see what you think. But I think they're absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning cards. It's the piggy. And the porcupine. And the rabbit. And the rhinoceros. And the sandpiper. So it's very different. These, the odd little animal in here is really diff different. You won't see anywhere out or in other decks. Scarab beetle. Lovely seahorse. Don't know if you can see that very well. Got a little bit of reflection. I'm sorry about the lighting and everything with this. I'm kind of just learning. I've had to transfer onto doing this on an old iPad. There's the skunk. And the snake. So at the moment, I'm just practicing with it, really trying to get the reflections to go away. And it's just a bit of a pain in the bum, really. There's a spider. Don't know why iPhone had to suddenly decide that they were not going to support uploading to YouTube direct from the photos where it was all nice and easy. I really don't know. But there's the squirrel. And there's the stag. Still, we have learned something new, I guess. I had to learn something new to be able to do this. Starfish spirit, beautiful. And the swan. And the turkey, lovely. And the turtle. And the vulture. See, quite unusual. I don't think I've seen a vulture card in any of the other decks I've got. And the wasp. And the whale. And the white raven. The wolf. Beautiful wolf. And, oh, the cute, so cute little wombat. How sweet. So these are lovely cards. And what I would say to you is, um, obviously, I have obviously unpacked these before because I've had to do this video a couple of times now. So they are very easy to shuffle. I'm not going to do it right now on camera just because the angle of this is so difficult. I'll probably knock the camera over and I'll probably drop all the cards. So rather than do that, I'll just leave that with you for now. I hope you've enjoyed me just having a little flip through them. Once I've got this blooming camera business all sorted out, so I know where I'm going to be, how I can not be quite so close up. I want to be a little bit further away from it. So I need to sort of have a look at how I'm going to do that in terms of the angles and everything. But for now, these are lovely cards. Have a look at them. If, you, um, if you've been thinking about getting them, I, might, I would recommend them. I think they're lovely. I'm going to start working with them a little bit. So we'll see how they go when we're working with them a little bit more. But I already really, really love the imagery. Love the cards. Really beautiful. So I will leave that with you for now, just so that we're not too long. Sorry about the fat cat cut. But that seems to have taken over the whole picture. It's a bit, I don't know what this actually focuses on. So I will leave that with you. Thank you ever so much for watching. Sorry it's been a bit bitty. Um, fingers crossed I should be able to suss this out now and get a little bit better at it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.